Today, we are going to be Generation 4 racing from Daytona. With the amount of horsepower we have, plus the bumpy old surface of the 2007 Daytona, this very well may be some of the wildest racing we have ever seen on the channel. So hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump into the content. I am so nervous going into this one. We qualified in position number 7, so I'm happy that we are starting towards the front. Although, I feel like the challenging part of today's event is just going to be surviving till lap number 50 to even have a shot at the win. This is it. The pace lights are off. The pace score is headed a pit road. We don't know what we are in for, but we're waiting for the leader of fire off and the green flag is officially out at Daytona. This is going to be some classic Winston Cup racing. They're already three wide ahead on me. I don't know why they're doing that, man. It's way too early to go on three wide. Hopefully we don't got to go three wide. Let's see what's going to happen with the number 21 here. He's going to be stuck in the middle. Put it up a fourth year. We got a car on the apron already. Everyone's going to hold it. Officially fighting for the fifth position and I think we're going to take it. That 16 is all over the apron. The outside is clear. I'm headed up there already boys here we go up to position number four we're side by side for it look at the momentum we have put it all the way to the third position help is coming behind me i don't think we can do a whole lot of bump drafting with this car i really don't want to find out but can we lead lap number one at daytona i mean we're gonna get some momentum it looks like the number zero nine wants to block it but i think we're gonna lead them back to the line how about that boys we're gonna lead lap number one at daytona and they're taking me three wide man this guy is an absolute menace i never thought three wide would be this much of a factor like that seems so dangerous it seems like something you really don't want to do. Now, we are going to get some strong momentum, and we're going to go back to the point of Daytona, and we're going to clear the bottom here. Do we want to go down to the bottom, though? That's the big question. I think I'm going to go down there, and also the 22 is going to go with me. Here comes the outside fighting back. It seems like you just can't stop the outside. It's so strong up there. They're doing a little bit of bump drafting. Guy behind me is going to try to get to my back bumper and possibly give me a shot down the back straightaway. But another new leader up front. The 16 is going to take it. He tried to clear me, but it didn't quite work out, man. We're going to continue fighting back on the bottom and we're gonna hold the lead momentarily it's getting tight and i'm noticing some tire wear coming into play they're trying to pin me down a ton and this car is just jumping around like a freaking bunny rabbit right now it's so wild look at this big shot behind me we got a car pulling over to the apron he doesn't feel safe here 16 is finally going to clear me going in a turn number three and four it took him a while to get that pass done so now the outside is clear i think i'm gonna head back up there and here we go boys to the outside side by side with that number 16 at the line we may be able to lead him back it's gonna be very close right there he's gonna hold it and hopefully this guy behind me doesn't lift up my back tires but we have cleared the bottom once again from the outside let's go down to the bottom and here he comes back here we go, boys. That was a nice side draft right there from the number 16. We have an absolute war going on here today, man. It's so close. It's so tight. We got 43 laps remaining. Whoa, here we go. We got a car that jabbed the apron back there. Big crash behind us. Big one number one is going to drop. Let's play a little game. What turn do you guys think we'll wreck in? I'm thinking four. Oh, there goes eight. Three. Correct. Stack up, stack up, stack up, stack up, stack up. The answer is turn three. Hey, bro, you talk too much. I'm talking. Well, I should talk if it's good advice. Don't run me freaking over. Bro, stop talking. So here's the update. Nearly everyone came a pit road for fuel and tires so we can all make it to the end. The leader did stay out on the racetrack. The 25 has been yet to come a pit road. He can't make it to the end on fuel. We lost one position on pit road to that number 16. So we're officially going to be restarting in position number three. We got 40 laps to get it done here. I'm feeling great, man. I'm glad we got up to the front already. I got a good feel of this car. I feel like we have a great shot to pull off a W here at Daytona. All right, boys. The lead is in control by the 25 and he's going to fire off. Off right there. Let's put up a third gear. I really think the outside is going to prevail here. We got a couple really good cars up there. So maybe we can jump up there and clear them, man. We got a good draft. Almost. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to clear the number 16. He's going to jump down to the bottom. And now we're going to have some big momentum down the back straightaway. And I really think we're going to be able to retake the lead right here to the top, man. We're going to get help from the Miller Lite machine behind me. So here we go. We are going to clear that bottom groove. Once again, big help coming. He's going to the bottom. He crossed me over just like that. And we're going to get trapped on the outside, unfortunately, man. Help is coming with the 22. This is about to be some big momentum down the back straightaway. Here we go, boys. Slingshot engaged. I can't go down and get some side drops. I'm going to stay right here, man. We are pulling up back to the lead, back to the point. Not enough to clear the bottom, though. As the tires wear down, the outside may be the way you go come to the end. So I might just want to keep it up here. Oh, boy. Here we go. We're going to get a nice little shot right there. I'm scared of bump drops with these cars, man. Luckily, he didn't lift up my back tires because that's 
so easy to do. 16, snake about blocking the outside. That's exactly what he's gonna do. We just kissed the wall right there. We're gonna hold on to her. And now we may go three wide on a turn number one and two. Fortunately, everyone's gonna back out of it. Oh, three wide. We're stuck on the outside. Here we go, boys. You knew somebody was gonna do it. I'm gonna back out of it, man. I don't wanna be in this position three wide of Daytona. Guys are just getting way too aggressive right now. 16 is bobbling. 18 almost shot up the racetrack. Man, yo, look at that 16. He cleared the bottom and he went for it. Now we're going to get some big momentum. It's just a matter of what we can do with it. I'm not willing to shove him three wide right now. We have cleared the bottom. I could have got down there. Everyone's moving up to the top. It seems like the top is the way to go currently. A couple guys are going to jump down. The 09 is going to jump down. And now we're back pushing that number 25. Now remember, the 25 cannot make it to the end on fuel. He did not pit. And for the first time all day, I'm noticing the tire wear is playing up factor because these cars are getting loose as we continue trying to get tight with that number 25 man here we go all the way to his rear bumper let's try to give him a nice little tap right here get as close as possible one in a turn number three and four another shot incoming boys buckle up i don't want to wreck the entire field but that was a nice little hit on the back straight away i've cleared the inside multiple times i keep running the outside yo 25's into the wall i gotta check up a little bit here man he just popped the wall off turn number four as i was saying i keep clearing the inside you probably wonder why i'm staying high right now i have a lot of faith on this outside groove as this run continues. At the line, it's officially 30 laps remaining at Daytona. Don't look now, but we got some lap traffic way up there. If they don't get off the track, that means we gotta go three wide here. And here we go. We have made it to the lap traffic, and the lap traffic is headed to the apron, so it's not gonna play a factor this time around. As we have cleared the bottom, I think I'm heading down there, boys. Underneath the number 25, and we're gonna try and make that pass, and my goal is to clear the outside if I can, and potentially be leading it. Remember, this guy doesn't have tires, so he probably doesn't have the best pace on him but now that we're up to third oh my goodness my car is so jumpy big momentum the eight car thought about jumping up there i'm headed back up to the top man so we gained one position up a third side by side for the second position and i believe we're gonna take that one going into turn number one i think we're actually gonna lead them this time by at the line it's gonna be super tight super close and i think we did it right there and we have cleared the bottom once again i'm gonna head down there before we get to turn number three and four and back to the bottom we go but now these guys behind me are gonna pull high they don't want to work with me man he wants to go back to the lead he wants to go back to the point. Almost contact off turn number four. It's big side draft. The 0-9 is going to lead him at the line. But will he get trapped on the outside? Or is he going to clear me, man? Almost got jacked up by the 25. I just got hooked, boys. Oh, my goodness. Hold on to her. Hold on to her. Hold on to her. I'm getting hit by everyone. But, hey, the car is not damaged bad. We got a car flipping. My gosh. All right. Well, we are alive, boys. I don't know what just happened. I don't think we even got damage on this car. I think we're clean. That 09 went for a ride. A lot of the leaders was in that. Thanks for pushing me and causing that. Thanks for pushing me and causing that. We currently have the car on pit road, getting it repaired. We got the right front knocked in a little bit, but the damage is not that bad. I have 57 seconds of optional repairs, and we're getting that set up now. Base car is hitting pit road now. I mean, we're wide open. I can try to pass them on the outside when we do get the green, and hopefully we don't get a black flag for that. We may catch them just in time. They haven't got the green flag yet, I don't believe, and we are just hunting them down quick. Here we go, boys. It's me pass the six car, and we're there. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully the 25 doesn't rear end them. Oh, boy. This is going to get big. We made it. We made it. Uh, oh, my goodness. All right. I'm just going to stay behind the 24. You guys are kind of belling out of it here in front of me, man. I think if I follow this 25, I think he will get me up to the front. The 13, unfortunately, got a penalty that may have been my fault i couldn't get up there really in time without causing a crash we're gonna make some passes here on the outside here we go around the number 34 car we're gonna grab a few of them right here hopefully we can get around that number six car as well to the back bumper of the 17 just trying to be smart the 17 really is not moving so i gotta head back down to the bottom so hopefully we can go around that number zero nine car i believe he was just upside down and he's still moving whoa contact there in front of me man there's smoke way up there boys hopefully they're not wrecking i can't really see a whole lot there's big check up they're definitely wrecking, and I just got rear-ended by the 17. Unbelievable. That may have just ended my day. Bro did not even check up there. Oh my gosh, another flip. I mean, are you trying to cold trickle it into turn number one? I mean, what was the plan there?
As I said, grade A wanker. Sorry about that, Dustin. The green flag is back out, man. We don't have too much time around here. My car is all but junked. I don't know how it's going to handle in the drought. Oh, my God. I'm about to freaking rage quit here today, man. What is wrong with you guys? Did I just got a speeding penalty? I don't even know what to say anymore, man. I think that's going to end my day. I think I'm done with that one right there. It was going so great at the beginning, and then everything just got terrible. My car is all screwed up at this point. Oh my god, we can't even go a freaking lap. I got slammed from behind. I really feel like this is something that iRacing needs to fix. If you're involved in a crash and you get spun down pit road, it's not fair that you got to come to pit road and serve a penalty as well. I'm already being penalized by being wrecked. And clearly, I'm not the only one with a penalty. There's more coming down with me. Wrecking. Check up. Check up. Check up. Fifteen. Fifteen, you stupid Check it up, I gotta let the post go by. Slow down. So you're the new generation where you do something stupid, but it's not your fault, you're the victim. Gotcha. Fast forward a bit, boys. We have two laps remaining at the line. I'm currently two laps down after serving that penalty, running in the 21st position. There's not much I can gain or lose here on this restart. If the yellow flag comes out, the race will be over. So all we can really do is try to tighten up here, try to survive and not do anything stupid or tear up the car any more than we have already. My safety rating is down the drain after today. My I rating is down the drain after today. And for the final time, Time, we are green flag racing uh, from Daytona. Prepare for some fireworks up front because they're side by side for the lead off turn number four. I don't know if they're going to make it, boys. Honestly, I highly doubt they will. I think we're going to see another car go barrel rolling right here at Daytona. One lap remaining. Let's watch out, man, because it's going to get a little bit bumpy. The guy behind me is going to pass me for the uh, 18th position. We're going to fall back to position number 19. We may gain some positions coming to the line because it looks like there's still some cars off the track and huge crash at Daytona. Here we go, boys. They're wrecking them up. This is another big one, and they're still wrecking, man. They are still wrecking. They are still wrecking. I don't need to be involved in this one, but hey, we may have gained a position or two off that. It looks like a single fall racing up front to the finish. Officially at the line, we're going to bring this baby home in position number 18. You f***ing wankers. Absolute wankers, the lot of you. On lap 24, it was the beginning of the end. The 34 gave the 09 a big shot right there. Door slammed me. We saved it. And then I got hit again by the 16, and that just lost me all my track position. The 09 just went barreling. As we tried to recover, the 17 just got into my rear bumper, kind of arca braked it there, turned me around, and even after this, it didn't completely junk the car. I mean, he kind of went barreling there, but the car was not done yet. We take the green, and then the 17 gets a big shot from the 09. It turns him around. And that gave me a speeding penalty. So just basically ruined my day from that point on. And there was nothing else we could really do. Now the 17 car did apologize. Which I'm not mad at him. It's really just the nature of the beast here at Daytona. Now before we end today's video. I'd like to thank my Patreon members. Who I go iRacing with every Thursday night for the DLB TV Racing League. The schedule is on the screen now. Also shout out to my Patreon VIP members. CHDB, Christian Elliott, Derek Dorsey, Joshua Kane, Sanquez Gregory, Timothy Stubblefield, and Tomaters for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.